Hi friends, in this video I am going to show you how you can go ahead and farm the Meteora airdrop. Now Meteora airdrop would be on the Solana network and Meteora aims to be the largest liquidity provider on Solana. So for those who don't know, the team behind Jupiter is the same team behind Meteora. So it's a good chance that they would be doing a decent airdrop for the community because in the past we have seen that Jup airdrop was one of the biggest airdrop out there. Now before we move on to Meteora airdrop farming, if you want to buy coins and tokens and also deal in futures, you can sign up on Bybit using my referral link in the description, which will give you up to 30,000 USDT as sign up bonus. Or alternatively, you can use my referral code as Crypto505 at the time of sign up. Now, once you create an account on Bybit, you would be getting exclusive access to different airdrops on the Bybit centralized exchange. Now, for farming the Meteora airdrop, you will need to have a Solana wallet. So, you can either get a Soulflare wallet or Phantom wallet or any other wallet that you are using on the Solana network. There is Backpack wallet also. So my personal favorite are Soulflare and Backpack. Now the first thing that you will need to do is you will need to head to Meteora and try to farm this airdrop with at least four soul. So there are these different uh, Meteora pools over here. So there is DLMM pool and look at the total value locked. On DLMM pool, the total value locked is more than 233 million and the swap volume is also more than 400 million plus. So all the pools combined, the total value locked is more than 400 million, which is massive. And the all time swap is more than 80 billion plus. So there are these different pools. One is a DLMM pool. I have put some in soul to USDC. Then there are a few dynamic pools. So the total value locked on dynamic pools is lower as compared to DLMM, which is like 23 million against 166 million. And then there are these pool with farms. So in this pool, I have staked few soul to B soul. Now, please note that for every dollar that you put at liquidity you would be getting one point now we don't have an official leaderboard over here but meteora keeps taking snapshots in between and if you earn around a dollar fees on meteora you would be getting thousand points now i personally feel that the airdrop for meteora should happen anywhere between quarter one to quarter two of 2025 and hopefully the bull run lasts till then now apart from this pools there is lst pool multi-token pools and also there is farms so if you go to pool with farms and if you have staked any of this, you would be able to go in farms and put that liquidity pool in this farm for getting additional APY. And then there are vaults. So your main aim in order to farm this uh, airdrop is basically providing liquidity on the solar network with different pools. Now apart from this, you can also go to their M3M3 website and as you can see, there is this token M3M3. So you can simply go ahead and click on buy M3M3 and stake it. Now if I go a bit back, as you can see, I've already staked few M3 M3. Now this might give you some additional boost or maybe multiplier for a Meteora airdrop. Although we are not sure of it yet and none of this is the financial advice. Please do your own research. Now apart from the Meteora DeFi itself, you can head to vote.jup.ag. And if you have gone ahead and staked a few Jup tokens, I think you would be getting some additional allocation for the Meteora airdrop as well. Because once again, the team is same behind Jupiter and as well as Meteora. So this is just my holding wallet and that's the reason why I haven't staked any jupe on this wallet. But my airdrop farming wallet is different. So I've staked uh, around, if I remember correctly, 4,500 to 5,000 jupe tokens. Now apart from this, what you can do is you can head to layer 3. Now you can use my sign up referral link in the description for layer 3 as it really supports my channel. And you can go ahead and complete all of this task. So as you can see, I've completed all the tasks. I will be going ahead and claiming the cubes for this Meteora Mastery pools as well. So these were some of the steps as to how you can go ahead and farm the Meteora airdrop. And this is all for this video. And in case if you have any doubts or questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I would be more than happy to help you. Hope you like my video. Thank you for watching.